Hey, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to basically give somebody an automatic discount when they sign up to your email list. So you'll see a lot of the times um, on websites and different things, people will have uh, offers like, oh, sign up to our mailing list and get 10% off or 15% off, whatever it is. So basically rather than you having to go in, every time someone signs up, send them an email, make up a code, this plugin will just do it for you. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up basically a uh, newsletter discount on your website. So basically when somebody comes along and you can put this onto your website and they can subscribe to your email list and that way basically using my method, it'll automatically send them out a discount code um, that they can use that will actually get them the 15% off rather than you having to manually you know, send them an email and uh, add in a discount code and all this sort of thing. You can just basically use this plugin and send them out an email very easily. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the plugin. So go to plugins. And the name of the plugin is uh, MailChimp WooCommerce MailChimp Discount. Here it is. So it, it works with with uh, WooCommerce. So that's what's called Woo WooCommerce MailChimp Discount. It's available on the WordPress store. If you go up there to the top and click on Add New, you can just search for it in there and you can just install it straight onto your website. It's free. Uh, and then once you install it, you can just go into settings and set it all up. So you can see here, uh, basically, the MailChimp Discount shows up within the WooCommerce settings. So these are all WooCommerce settings and it shows up within them. Uh, but that's fine, these are these are the settings that are here. So the first thing you wanna do is enable this discount plugin. So if you want to use it on your website, click on enable. Uh, if you want to just use it for normal signups and not use it for the discount, you can disable the discount. Then you want to go and get your MailChimp, or your MailChimp API key which um, will allow you to link to your MailChimp set, to your MailChimp uh, account and it says here to find your API key click here so you can find that there uh, go into your MailChimp account and find your API key and put it in here list ID so find your list ID of the list you want to put them into that's that um, display on the home page only uh, so that's if you want to display a pop-up you can display it on the home page so you can decide where you want to do that um, add sign up source so if you want to track where they're coming from you can add that double opt-in opt -in then is that they have to uh, once they sign up to your list they have to then get an email from you and click a link in order to be subscribed so it's it's kind of important nowadays to do double opt-in because uh with all the gdpr and everything you do have to kind of do double opt-in so then you can send a welcome message uh you can allow discount if the purchase is made for the same email id registered on Mail mailchimp so basically um if somebody just comes along and registers a uh account with you on your website and they don't actually use their discount code from MailChimp, uh, but they have signed up, well then it'll just automatically give them the discount. So require a user to be logged in to apply the coupon. Uh, so you can choose whether you want that or not. Uh, display fields, so whatever fields you want. Uh, that's your test email. Discount type then is percentage discount. So you can also give a fixed basket discount or a fixed product discount. So this is money off your entire basket and this is money off a particular product. Uh, coupon prefix. You can leave that alone. Um, coupon code, so that would be if you wanted to put like a little bit in before the the coupon code. Um, coupon code length 12 or you know you can do 10. Basically it'll give them 12 or whatever you put in here, random letters and that'll just be their code. Um, discount amount, whatever you want, that's the 15%. Um, allow free shipping if you want, you can tick that. Exclude on sale items, um, pretty st straightforward. And then you can add in products or exclude products that you want them or don't want them to be able to use with this uh, discount code. Uh, you can do the same with categories. So coupon validity is how long it lasts for. If you leave this blank, it'll just last uh, forever pretty much. But um, if you say if you want it, it only to last for 30 days, you could put in 30 here. Uh, so expiry date format is just the, um, the expiry date that's mailed to them. Minimum purchase or maximum purchase, whatever you want. You can change that around if you'd like. So then the email from name uh, is the what's going to show up in the uh, from bar on your, when they get an uh, email from you. From email then, email subject, and then you can put in your, your text here and that's that's perfect. Um, you can see here, um, 
you can click here to see a list of variables that you can use for the email body and email subject um, and that's basically what it's going to look like so disable pop-up so I, I disabled the pop-up but it does have a pop-up as well if you'd like to use it uh, a button link trigger for pop-up so you could click on a button and then a pop-up will show up uh, not really necessary I don't think unless you know you may as well embed your form like this um, and then you have open pop up only on button or link click if you'd like exit intent so you can that's quite good you can display the pop up when they actually go like this and it looks like they're going to leave your website then it'll display the pop up which is quite a good time um, close the pop up when people click outside it yes and then pop up cookie length so if it pops up for someone it won't pop up for them for another 14 days then you have your background image for your pop up your different colours for your pop up um, and just kind of basically setting up your whole pop-up and what it's going to look like and whatnot. Uh, your header text and then your actual pop-up text is here. Um, so display it after, this is how many seconds after they come onto your website. So when they come onto your website, five seconds later, it'll show this. Automatically close it after a certain amount of seconds if you'd like. Submit button text, so I have sign me up. It's going to be on the button for them to, to sign up. Um, you can see here sign me up is here um, and then you can set up all your colors form width is 200 px which is th just this here um, and then you have your form alignment is center and success message and that's basically that's all your your settings and once that's set up um, then you are just able to basically embed this onto your website so just come along and uh, let me just see I'll go into my back end now of this page and let's just see how I put it in um, pages so you can see here I'm using visual composer which is why it looks like this um, and when if I go, if I go down to the bottom so of my page you can see that I just have a short code for the WC MailChimp discount so this uh, this plugin actually just gives you that short code and wherever you want to put in your uh, sign up form you can literally just put in that short code there WC MailChimp discount and that will show it up wherever you want so that's pretty much it your automatic discount is set up for your MailChimp subscribers I hope this helped guys and I'll see you in the next video so there you go I really hope this helped guys I hope now you have your MailChimp discount set up and I hope it works for you um, please don't forget to like share and subscribe that would really really mean a lot um, especially if you subscribe you'll get all of my most helpful content and it'll really just help you in terms of building your WordPress website um, also if you'd like to let me know in the comments if there's anything um, in terms of any other videos you'd like to see me do anything at all that I can help you with to do with WordPress I'd be more than happy to help uh, so I'll see you in the next video guys thanks very much